Team Natural Body. <laughs> natural Body still getting likes out here. Men still want women with natural bodies. Like, is anybody natural anymore? All of these fake bodies. <sighs> Welcome to my channel, mother suckers. Hey, happy early Valentine's Day. Ah, it's a day of love. I know it's the day before Valentine's Day, but I had to drop this pick me video so i asked you guys if you wanted my opinions and viewpoints on pick me ship okay um and y'all was like yeah let's talk about it so today we're gonna talk about it now i do want to start the video by saying this most women at some point in time has been a pick misha okay we've all been it just is inevitable right we do live in a patriarchal misogynistic society so some of the things that we're taught you know we truly we truly digested these thoughts and these actions and so um to a certain extent it's not always our fault but we do have to do the work um and if you are a woman who is about women empowerment you just have to do the work to check yourself and make sure that you're not also perpetuating this pick me behavior okay so we gonna break down pick me behavior we're gonna talk about what it is and we're also gonna talk about what it's not um i have been, i have seen the word the term pick me kind of misused and abused okay ladies so hopefully this video can give a little bit more clarity as to what being a pick me is what being a pick me isn't um and how we can all be delivered okay from pick meism okay now ladies i know we're all a fan of the nutty cosmetics well bay can definitely be a fan too the Nutty Cosmetics is a black-owned unisex natural skincare line. I've been telling y'all about this, so don't act all brand new. With organic African ingredients that help with eczema, hyperpigmentation, acne, inflammation, and more. Now y'all know I love the body butters, but the King's Code is a body butter for Bay to wear and for you to enjoy. Be sure to use my discount code ELOHO during checkout. Pick me is a term that is a part of the African American vernacular English. And honey, thank God for it. Okay. We needed a word to describe what y'all be out here doing. And I, 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 uh. Let me say this wanting to be picked, right? And this is from a heterosexual woman's standpoint. There's nothing wrong with wanting a good man. All right, that's what we want, right? We do want that. There's nothing wrong with wanting a good man. There's nothing wrong with one day wanting to get married and wanting a family and, you know, a good family structure, a good family dynamic. That's the goal, okay? This is what we want here. This is, yes, we bring it on. Being a pick me is not someone who says, well, I want a man and, you know, <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> you know, it's not that. Pick me is um, comes into play here on your road to getting that man, right? On your road to that man. What are you doing? All right, are you throwing other women under the bus? Are you shaming other women because they have different lifestyles, different religions, different uh, occupations, different practices, different mindsets than you? That is where the pick me comes into play. It's not wanting a man. It's wanting a man so badly, so desperately that you're willing to shame other women for things that they do to garnish the attention from that man. And uh, nine times out of 10, uh, you're attracted to toxic masculinity. You want a toxic man, okay? I'm working on using the N-word. I, I, you know, someone told me down in the comments, you know, Ilaho, you say the N-word a lot. I'm sorry that y'all like, yes, I am a unicorn, but I'm a unicorn from Brooklyn, okay? <laughs> we were good on ourselves. All right, ladies, now I got some great news. Jada's Luxury Beauty Supply has partnered with Coco Black Naturals and have restocked their number one product. For defined natural curls on all hair textures, try Coco Black's Curling Custard Cream. This product was developed in Ghana and has been selling off the shelves worldwide. And with Jada's Luxury Beauty Supply now stocking these products, you can go right to jadasluxurybeautysupply.com and purchase your own. Jada's Luxury is the only Black-owned beauty supply in Hempstead, New York. And with Black women being the number one consumers of these products, it's important that we shop with other Black women who understand and cater to our wants and needs. And so for your everyday beauty needs, visit jadasluxurybeautysupply.com or if you're in the area, stop in and tell her I sent you. He's usually toxic, okay? Because if these are the rhetoric that you're spewing into the atmosphere to get that man, that man is toxic. Let's just say what it is. Now, men have also perpetuated this pick me behavior okay they will cheer you on they will celebrate you they will say yeah you're the type of woman that we like and you they need to be like you they are the batteries in your backpacks okay and your jet packs they are the batteries they are gonna pop 
put that battery on your big old bag. <laughs> They're going to pack that bag with some batteries. But pick will never win. And then you, we're going to talk about that in this video as well. So there's different categories in which I see pick just thrive. <sighs> like they're breeding and they're multiplying. Like there's a few categories and I wrote them down. Um, but there's a few categories in which I see pick really thrive and breed. And uh, it's just, I can't sit with y'all. Y'all can't sit with me either. But again, like I said, nobody's perfect we've all operated in some form you know some shape or form of pick me ism now i'll start with sex work me uh, child me growing up in a christian household when i tell y'all i lived in church okay i was in church every single day of the week all day long um and you know being christian you know modesty is very uh, modesty is taught when it comes to being a christian woman right so you know a lot of religious women not just christianity religious women in general they do believe in modesty and women, you know, maybe refraining from sex and, you know, women being holy and wholesome. So they naturally will have these views against sex workers, right? And so we see the rise of OnlyFans, of the strippers, of, you know, the girls just showing ass on Instagram and Twitter, right? And real life example, I'm sorry, I gotta say it, but Miss I Mrs. Aisha Curry, honey, all right? Remember when she, when she tweeted about women being and modest and you know oh my god like i don't understand you instagram girls you know posting your bodies on instagram and ah, uh, uh, uh. she recently kind of posted some i would say tasteful news right and this is something that you would have not expected from this woman because again some years back she was like yo y'all chicks need to be modest and need to dress like me and you know maybe you can keep a man or get a man if you're more covered up again what good does that get you speaking for men who don't always know what they want anyways okay the, yes people say women don't know what we want and that could be true in some instances but men don't know what they want either because at the end of the day humans change humans change which is why most men say things like damn you know i ain't never dated a big girl before but you know you different and you know that shit really clapping my i don't know i may have to try a big girl or you know i never really dated a dark skin girl before but you know i don't know it's the chocolate it's the melanin you know what i mean like i, I just love it you're just so deep darkly ebony like oh mahogany <laughs> like what <laughs> what that can be a whole topic in except in itself because too much of that i will say you know is problematic right like what what are we really saying is this impossible or is it something else right so that's a whole nother topic that we can talk about but in general pick me's breeding okay it bre <laughs> i hate the word breeding <laughs> when it comes to the topic of sex workers, okay? They in their cores just feel like women who, um, women who are on OnlyFans, you know, prostitutes, strippers, oh my God, they are so repelled behind this behavior and they feel like those women are not deserving of a man, a good man. And you know what the odd thing about the pick me behavior against sex workers is it's ladies it's never gonna work in your favor okay these niggas um, okay i said that word i'm sorry these niggas like sex and they like sex workers that's not gonna change okay they might say that they don't they might say that oh nah i'm good you know they might not marry her i will we'll be honest with you and say yeah he might not marry a stripper but he'll cheat on you with one like i don't so i don't see the purpose hey i don't see he, he'll cheat on you with one he'll follow them on instagram you know you you look up his porn you know if he watches porn he I don't see the benefit of shaming those women when it's supply and demand, right? These women provide sex to men who want to buy sex. So to me, I don't really see that. I had to learn and say like, there's no point actually in shaming these women because it's a market for them, right? They're not up here just all alone doing things, you know, to themselves and entertaining themselves. No, men are tapped in. They, 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 they want that. <laughs> they do so you shaming them and saying oh you know you're whores and you're this and you're on only fans it's like yeah all of that is true but baby your man pay my bills i'm sorry ladies that's a whole nother video it's a bit of pill to swallow <laughs> it's a bit of pill <laughs> when you haven't done the work to, like educate yourself on different fields and different topics and what these women actually go through you really you'll find that you actually won't 
shame them um if you are someone who is genuine about women empowerment which i am you know i'll look at it like it's times i'll go to the strip club because i love strip clubs okay it's times i'll go to the strip club and i'm having the time of my life and it's times i'll go to the strip club and i actually feel bad like i'm actually like damn like is this something that she really wants to do because i do feel like just stripper culture and only fans culture it is so glorified and that's what i meant earlier when i said you know it's, it could be problematic because it is glorified like you know you see these women they talk about the money they talk about the money the money the money the money the money but they don't always give the negative sides of you know working in some of these industries and i think that if you are someone who works in that industry it's important like you have an obligation to tell other women like these are the pros but baby these are the cons so i need you to i need you to weigh it out right another category where i just see the pick me's breeding and just <sighs> hate it but another core category where i see pick me just breeding is how could i how could i say this category um i'll just call it relationships right under the relationship category you will almost always find a pick me under this category okay you find a lot of women speaking for men and shaming other women now it's one thing to give advice right it's one thing to give advice like let me say what what a pick me is not right a woman that says listen ladies you know i know you follow my page because i speak about femininity and i speak about you know how we can really tap into our feminine side to really find you know to really narrow down on what man we want and how to go about getting that man right versus these i know y'all like my channel because this is a femininity channel and i'm gonna show you how you can use your femininity to get the man that you want don't be like those other girls that are just super 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 masculine like men do not want a masculine woman you don't want to be masculine like those girls you want to be feminine like me and i'm gonna tell you baby you could give me advice without shaming the next chick i'm just saying <laughs> you can do that and, and it's also levels to being a pick me um when it comes to the topic of relationships right so we see a lot of pick me saying things like oh you know i cook for my man i clean for my man i you know I, he will never have to lift a finger honey because my man is the king of my castle and he will never have to lift a finger i don't understand how y'all be having y'all man's clean and cook a baby hold on he is a king kings don't clean and cook hold on relax holiday <laughs> And I will say something to that, right? Because there are women who just naturally love to cook and naturally love to clean. Those are not pick me's, right? If you cook and you clean for your man, if you post pictures of, you know, maybe dinner for your man or whatever the case may be, you run his bath water, whatever, however you cater to your man. I think catering is a beautiful thing and there's nothing wrong with catering to your deserving man, right? Absolutely nothing wrong with that. It's a beautiful thing. This is not being a pick me i do cook three times a day i love cooking i'm always in the kitchen i cook about three times a day so you know my husband does get three home cooked meals you know he loves grilled salmon so that's always on my you know that's always on a menu we always got some salmon in the freezer versus yeah my man get three home cooked meals a day you bitches can never <laughs> baby not but why are you mad? See, my here's my thing with 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 pick me's as well. They're usually you they're usually upset. Now, are you mad because you have to cook those three meals because honestly and truly what I do for my man in our home, it brings me joy. Like it brings me happiness. So, I'm not upset at what other women don't do for their men. I'm not upset by it. I'm not phased by it hello maybe the next the next woman she's working all day long every relationship has its own rules every relationship has its own rules and it's not your job or your responsibility to shame other people for <laughs> what their rules you know what for the rules that are in their relationship that is their relationship it works for them what's in your relationship it works for you that is okay nobody should be shaming nobody i can't forget this one um, so you have the good girl, so you have the alleged good girl pick me, but you also have the side chick pick me, okay? I see the side chick pick me is thriving, okay? And it's thriving, <laughs> it's thriving because of the music. I'm telling you, it's in the music. Like, you listen to the music today and... I mean, it's okay to be a side chick. It's okay to be sneaky. You know, everybody wants to be toxic and sneaky links and we sneaky and sneaky. Just make sure you can fight. I just make sure you can fight. 
if you want to be a side chick just make sure you can fight that's all i'm gonna say because y'all praising it and if that's what y'all want to do that's what y'all want to do but let me tell you something baby <laughs> baby just make sure you can fight okay if the side chick pick me it's not always talked about but i'm gonna call y'all out okay because the side chick pick me is real as well they'll say things like uh -huh, you know uh -huh, this is why this you know you know um, damn, let me get one. I'm sorry, I'm not a side chick. I gotta, I gotta think, I gotta think, I gotta think, I gotta think. Ooh, I know I got one cocked a loaded somewhere. Okay, they'll say things like, mm, yeah, nah, you know, I'm, I'm not trying to be, no, you know, I'm not trying to be his wife because, you know, I'm not trying to be his wife because, you know, niggas don't really have fun with their wives. They have, they, they come to me for the fun. I don't really know how to say it. I'm so corny, but y'all know what I'm trying to say. Like, the side chicks have a lot of pick me in them as well because they feel like they're better than the, the woman that got the commitment. They feel like, listen, yeah, you got the commitment, but I get the best of him. I get everything else. You know what I'm trying to say? They, they're they proud. <laughs> I don't know why. I'm sorry. They're proud of they're proud of the fact that they're celebrated. Like I said, men fuel pick me behavior and they fuel the competition between women. I recently saw Justin LA boy post on Instagram, you know, oh, oh my God, you know, yeah, you know, little booties be having men in love. Like little booties be really be having us in love. They really be having us in love, you know, so that the little booty women could feel empowered to be like, yeah, you know, little booties really do be having y'all in love. Y'all, you know, everybody be act like they want big booties, but they really want the little... These niggas be lying, okay? <laughs> they be lying. Like, I told y'all, remember I told y'all, little footy, footy, boom. Like, yeah, he gonna tell you that. Like, duh, like, they be lying. Like, he's gonna tell you that. He's gonna big up your head. But again, people will show you with, with their actions. I'll say that. People will show you with their actions. And when men, when women find, like, the women that um, their guy cheated on them with, it's almost like a slap in the face because it's like, well, damn, like, I would have never thought that she was his type. Most of them really don't have no type. You know, they might marry a certain type. They might date a certain type. But attractiveness is attractiveness. And if he's attracted, he's attracted. Which is why I always say, I don't know what that man want. You got to ask him. That's I want, that on a, I want that on a shirt. I don't know what that man want. You got to ask him. <laughs> this one is the natural pick me honey they br no, no 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 the natural pick me's are almost the most savage like <laughs> they're almost the most savage like you know, and we're talking natural in terms of hair makeup even body and plastic surgery right and here's my thing if you're genuine about you know black women embracing their natural hair and rocking our natural hair you know you'll say things like you know your your for your type four crown is beautiful you know what i'm trying to say nothing wrong with protecting your hair but you know let your hair out let your crown show like black women you are beautiful right that's not pick me behavior a pick a natural pick me yeah because you know y'all just be wearing weaves and wigs like how y'all even put that stuff on y'all heads like ain't no man no one no woman with a wig <laughs> who don't do that <laughs> and with makeup oh my goodness when i mean like i was doing makeup before makeup was really like mainstream in mainstream social media um and you would have a lot of women like uh, all i wear is mascara and lip gloss uh, Blistex and lip gloss is all I need. Like, I don't know how y'all cake all of that. Ugh, y'all just be caked up. Y'all be cake, cake, cake. But you eat cake every birthday. Ain't nothing wrong with cake. Y'all you know, just be leaving all y'all makeup on his shirts. And dang, that man, uh, that man coming to me to do his laundry. I'm going to do his laundry because y'all just be putting makeup all over his clothes. Like, girl, uh. Like, my man loves me natural like this. I don't know how y'all just wear all of that on an everyday basis. It's like, just say you can't do makeup and go. Just say you can't afford a cute wig and go. Like, don't say nothing at all and just go. Team natural body. <laughs> natural body still getting likes out here. Men still want women with natural bodies. Like, is anybody natural anymore? All of these fake bodies. <sighs> and real talk. <laughs> and real, real, real talk. If the surgeries were 100% safe and if she had the coin, guess who gonna be going to get a new body, okay? <laughs> oh, this makes me cringe the tomboy i'm not even gonna say tom i'm gonna say the fake tomboy pick me the heterosexual woman um who says things like 
yeah i don't even i don't i don't, I don't hang out with girls like i can't hang out with females because <laughs> females is just too catty they too they 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 they, they, they. and i just be looking like you a whole woman you a whole lady out here talking about some they 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 but they want to other themselves they want to make themselves seem better than other women and for that that them being better than other women they prefer to hang out with men now here's a trick here's here's the thing i've learned right because there are women who just naturally gravitate to masculine energy and they are more comfortable you know hanging around men <laughs> you know all day long i know women like that straight heterosexual women who are friends with the guys but here's the difference those women they just do it they just they just hit up their bros and hang out with the bros they they just put um pull up to his house and play video games they just sit on the bench outside and, and the guys is with them they don't brag about it like it's it's it, they don't brag about that they just do it they don't put down other women they just do what they do they just hang out with the guys the pick means they pretend those are the women who were not able to flourish with other women in friendships because they were the envious ones they were the jealous ones they were the backstabbers they were the haters they were the bitches like they were the very things that they say oh i don't like i don't hang out with women because of this because they 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 no sis you did those things you're the reason why you don't why women don't want to hang out with you it's not the other way around it's you that men can find them more attractive and deem them as this perfect woman who should be chosen okay a pick me will never hold men accountable you know when it comes to relationships you have to understand it is work it is work that both people have to partake in in order for this to be successful <laughs> all right i'm not gonna run myself into the ground cooking and cleaning and cooking and cleaning and cooking and cleaning. what about my life I, I be what about my life miss something i know it's i know it's more there, there's more breeding grounds for pick me's but these are the ones that really just actually really grind my gears a pick me is not to be confused with you being a heterosexual woman who wants a good man and who understands yes i need to work on myself the same way that i'm working on myself he needs to work on himself to be a good partner and a good you know husband boyfriend whatever to you as well it's both of us working on ourselves being the best version of ourselves so that when we meet our partner baby let's go let's get it you know what i'm trying to say it's not woman fix yourself woman do this woman do that woman do that while he just sits back and play video games all day so that's pretty much all i had to say for this video again we could probably do a part two because i'm sure there's some stuff i forgot comment like a pick me down in the comment section the best comment will be pinned <laughs> i'm looking i'm looking i'm ready share this video with a friend a family member honey you know i'll be coming through with the looks the facts the tea and the comedy don't do that she's funny okay um but yeah share this video make sure you are subscribed because sometimes youtube will unsubscribe people from my channel or try to shadow ban my videos welcome to all my new unicorns we do this all the time right we get we get a little nutty like we do baby we do like the unicorns be everywhere have a wonderful valentine's day and i'll see you at the next one bye